Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Wily Wars, I guess. Uh, Rockman 2, Mega Man 2, whatever the fuck Wily level thinks. Yeah! Nice updated sprites there, I guess. Sure, why not? And down to Monstropolis he goes. For some reason, the um, when the UFO gets smaller, it gets smaller much more abruptly in this one. <laughs> it's much more noticeable, I think. Anyway, let's get started with the best, some of the best music. I'm not going to say the best music in uh, all of Mega Man. Wow, that was also really choppy. Updated music, too. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow. Anyway. Um. Wow. Jesus. Apparently, recently, hello, Free Life, in the thread, um, people were doubting if, um... How did I get the little energy tanks? Holy shit. I do these conditions and such for the other videos, legitly. And, uh... I think I do. I've been guilty of post-commentary a couple of times. Um, in Mega Man 2, specifically in Wily 5 and 6. Um, Wily 5 I did half in post-commentary. I did all the refights in post because, well... <laughs> there was a lot of game switching, to put it bluntly. And then I did the, um... Wily Machine 1 and 2 fights live. That was an editing nightmare. And Wily 6, obviously, I did. Um, maybe I did a few others. I don't remember. I'd have to look at them. But uh, if people want, then I can do the whole, um, do the unedited thing. And maybe I'll speed it up and do some chipmunk time. I really don't want to cut out their cartoons and just do pure chipmunk time, though, because I think cartoons are one of the best parts of the thread. Uh, his location, that sniper jump shooting, um, was changed to a little more farther forward. It is possible in the NES one to jump past him, and it's not able to jump past him in this one. Uranium Anchor is messaging me in IRC. I think it's because he went to... Whoa! It's to guess comment date. Whoops. That little dude? Yeah, he goes straight off the screen in the original. This gap was also widened. So... Oh, shit. So it takes uh, four item ones to cross instead of three. And that really is a dick move. Holy shit. I'm trying to see if I can pass it in three, and obviously I can't, and I'm going to run out of item one before... Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I got it. <laughs> the Molestias also um, get closer to you, but still obviously climbing is just fine. Um, a lot of people have been surprised that I haven't been playing Mega Man my entire life. I wasn't born playing Mega Man, and I haven't been. I wasn't born playing Mega Man. Um... That thing was changed right there. Whoa! Hi, Mecha Dragon. Uh, yeah. Um, my first Mega Man game, I guess, was Dr. Wily's Revenge for the Game Boy. But, yeah, this guy is not as easily killable. Please don't hit me, thank you. Um, but, I always started with Elect Man. And I played that when I was like seven. And I always started with Elect Man, and I never beat him. So I never played anything but Elect Man, uh, Elect Man Stage, rather, because I had a really hard time getting to him, even. Um, so I don't really count that as my first Mega Man. I guess um, one of my brothers, for about a year, had Mega Man X, and I played that, but I never beat it. Um, and then he took it to college, and <laughs> it was left. Uh, and then I went to Japan about three years ago, picked up a Famicom, um, had a $800 a month that scholarship that paid in cash, and I abused the fuck out of that. Um, spent a lot of money in that Famicom shop in Osaka. And when I bought the Famicom, the first thing I bought was the first Mega Mans, or Rock Mans, or whatever. Um, and I played the shit out of them. Um, I beat two a weekend for a while, and then the next month I did the same thing. And I've really been doing that since. But, you know, I just played the games. I didn't really, uh, research into them or anything. Start Glitch still works. <laughs> For, a uh, Hyper Jump. Not quite as well, but it works. Um, yeah, I didn't research anything into it. Yeah, I didn't try to speedrun it. I still really don't try to speedrun it unless I'm 
unless there's a race at hand, I guess. Um, but I didn't really, like, grow a Mega Man neckbeard, I guess, until I did Mega Man 1, the LP for it. Um, the topic at hand was, generally, you make better LPs if you know all about the game. So before I did Mega Man 1, I researched the shit out of it. Um, Crusher location was changed. Normally it's right on the edge. Um, I researched the shit out of it and did the LP and that kind of, I don't know, went towards the other games as well. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't really born playing Mega Man or anything. Don't let people fool you. Yoink. Boink. Pika Pika Master. Um, I am not going to use his weakness. Um, I didn't in the races, and I'm not going to here. His weakness is bubble lead. Um, but I don't really feel like using that because, you know, the alien. He looks different. He looks a lot different. His insides look different. Gray and flashing and Normally it's just like black and flashing yellow, I guess. Wow. Well, looks more sinister, I guess. Sure, why not? One of my pet peeves, I may have mentioned this in an earlier video, about Mega Man 2 specifically, is Jesus. Um The lack of extra boss music. What the Get hit, thank you. Um, it uses the same boss music for all the bosses in the game. The final boss, even, uses the same music. I remember talking about this now. I remember making an analogy between Final Fantasy 1 and Mega Man 2. Fighting Chaos, and it's got the normal battle music, and this, you're fighting the Wily Alien, it's got the normal battle music. Yeah, that bugs the shit out of me. Um, it's got some of the best music in the Mega Man series, but Christ... Make some fucking new music for the boss battles. Even Mega Man 1 had new music for the boss battles, you know? Oh my god! I saw those spikes in the background. At least they looked like spikes, and I freaked the fuck out and tried to avoid them and ended up killing myself. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> those aren't in the background of the NES one. <laughs> that was pretty good. Metalfish! Yeah. This sprite was changed up a bit. Uh, gotta love it. <clears throat> um, here also, that spike's a little higher. Wow. Than the normal spike in the NES one. Jesus. Hitting spikes like no other. Whatever. But, otherwise, you know, Mega Man 2 is my most favorite non-original Mega Man. Like, my, my first three favorites are Mega Man 1, uh, Mega Man X, and Mega Man ZX. So, you know, the, the starters of their series is... The water's kind of speckled. I like that. It's better than yellow. Um, but then after that, it's Mega Man 2. And the main reason for that is... Yeah, it's set the standard of eight Robot Masters and everything like that. And... Um, the weapons are useful. You know? Super Arm is a fucking gimmick. It's horrible. Um... You know, in Mega Man 1, the only actual useful weapons, he starts on the screen this time instead, and I can't move, and he stops there and charges up, and his thing says, the side of him still says LP gas, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, but his super arm was worthless. Rolling Cutter, I guess, was sort of useful. Thunder Beam was the god weapon. Ice Slasher which was useless, except on a couple of occasions. Firestorm was useless, except for the final boss, and Bomb Man, I guess. Um... Yeah, a lot of useless weapons in Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2 had a ton of useful weapons. I'm not using them because I'm not really trying to speedrun it, but everything has a use. Bubble lead if you're a beginner here in Wily 4. It'll show you the uh, where the floors are cut out. You know, it's useful. Crash Bomb is really the only not useful one, and that's, you know, you only use Crash Bomb because of the fight here with Boo Beam Trap. But Atomic Fire is god-awful powered. Um, fully charged, anyway. Um, quick Boomerang will kill, out, kill the Karakaros faster. Uh, metal Blade, everyone knows, is like default weapon for everything. Wow, wow! Um, 
Leaf Shield was good for the moles that I killed in Wily 3. You know, everything has a purpose, which is really nice. Air Shooter is good for the ATSTs. And really, the only one that doesn't. Like, time Stopper is great for stopping time. The only one that doesn't really have the use is Crash Bombs. Yeah, I made it sweet. Um, yeah, and that's that's the main reason why Mega Man 2 is my favorite non-original Mega Man. Um, Zero is not above Mega Man 2. I didn't really like the Zero series. I mean, it was good. Most Mega Man games tend to be um, out of a higher caliber of other games. However, Zero just didn't cut it for me, I guess. I mean, I, I like it, but it's not as good as the other Mega Man games. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of close. What? Oh, God. Um, in the cell phone version of this game, they changed a lot of this part. A lot of it. And they didn't change it badly. Wow. Okay, good. <laughs> Still... Start glitchable. Awesome. Mm. And Mega Man 3, you know, also suffered from the gimmick weapon syndrome, I guess. Shoot me, because shooting deals less damage. Thank you. Um, you know, hard knuckle move too slowly. Um, Search Snake was what the fuck. There's a lot of really not usable weapons. And that's why Mega Man 3, honestly, is one of my least favorite Mega Mans. But that's a story for another time. And for the Mega Man 3 portion of this here LP. Holy shit frame loss. And I would be inclined to say it's the emulator. Except for the fact that the music is still playing full speed. So it's not the emulator. <laughs> it's pretty goddamn positive it's the ROM. Oh, God, this is horrid. And the PAL version suffers even more <laughs> from this frame loss. It's... Oh, God damn it, why'd I do that? It's nearly unplayable. Oh, well. Crash bomb this shit now. Wow, that was kind of cool. I don't know how that worked at all, but I liked it. Oh, damn it. I fucked up. That's okay, though. I can still kill him. Jesus. Yes, I'm gonna use two energy tanks on boo beams. Oh no. Um, namely because while the phase out super jump still works, the phase out through shots doesn't work. And I didn't need the energy tank. Fantastic! Fan motherfucking tastic. Oh well, it's done. Yay! And here we go to the skull! It's kinda sad that, um, the very first Mega Man game where they had this map and then the skull denoting, holy shit, Dr. Wily! They broke the gimmick batting a second skull. So, like, all the other Mega Mans, you're looking for that other skull <laughs> after you beat the first one. And in Mega Man 3, you know, they went ahead and just said, fuck it, we're not even gonna put Wily in the first skull. Which, honestly, I think was a good move on their part. Or, I mean, rather, ah, I'm an idiot. They put the Wy Robot Masters in a not skull. Yeah, and they just put Wily, but then you still gotta go somewhere else for Gamma. And, yeah, fuck it. I can't talk today. I'm, I'm spouting misinformation. Ow. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Saying ow is a cardinal sin of LPs. God damn it, quit hitting your air shooter. Thank you. Um, a pet peeve of mine in this level that I really enjoyed that they did in Rockman of Constancy. I am not going to use Time of Fire. Uh, I am going to use Metal Blade. I'm not going to use Metal Blade, I'm going to use Air Shooter. Um, is the whole. Here, let's play the boss music 50 million times. I'm going to need an energy tank. Yeah. And that really just annoys me to no end. The fact that... God damn it. And I bitch about his Doc Robot counterpart. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, pea shooter him to death. Oh, great. 
Yeah, when I'm not concentrating on Metal or uh, uh, Air Shooter, I get it. Um, the fact that they switched to the boss music for every single fight, that that really is annoying, and I really don't like it. And I like how you can see the top of the water in, in this fight now. That's really cool. Um, yeah, that annoys me to no end, because really, you're just hearing boss introduction, boss music, over and over and over and over and over again, and... You know, um, Rock Metal Constancy did it right, just having the boss music playing in this room, <laughs> and you don't have to deal with the charge up, and it just plays the boss music constantly, and I like that a lot. I'm also out of air shooter, that really sucks. Uh, let's just start with Flash then. Yarr! Haha, <laughs> I'm behind you now, what are you gonna do about it? Exactly. He's gonna keep running away. Um, someone in the thread did point out that, uh, yeah, they upped Quickman's defenses. Um, he now takes one line of damage, while in normal mode of Mega Man 2, he took four, and in difficult, he took two. Uh, now he takes one. However, he's so much slower. Good god. You know, you can actually. Avoid his shit as I jump into him and die. Fantastic. Um, wondering if what else I have that'll even hurt him. Atomic fire. Let's see if I can hit him with it. Yes, that means I won't have this for the Wily fight, which is what I was hoping to save it for. However, this will kill him in two hits. And considering how much slower he moves, I think it's a lot easier to hit him with it. Wow. At least it used to kill him in two hits. On the NES, difficult. God damn it. Ah! I hate that whole, uh. Oh god. Wow, I killed him. I hate that whole, um. If you charge up to level 3 and you don't, can't. don't have enough energy for a level 3, um. Best Crashman I'm gonna go into and I have no air shooter. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Ah. Wow, still in two shots. Awesome. I can't believe I wasted all the air shooter on Woodman without actually realizing that I have to fight Crashman. Well. Let's do a quick boomerang dust to him. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, in, in normal difficult, um, uh, charge three, cra cra crash bomb, uh, charge three, atomic fire will kill quick mana two hits. That apparently is not the case anymore. Hey everyone, watch me die. Oh, that's what I have. Alright, enough. Uh, I'm not gonna use my blade. I'm just gonna pee buster him to death. Now, let's see if they ch Ah! They did! In the original... <laughs> in the original, if you stayed in the corner, he would turn around before hitting you. And they apparently changed that as well. So yeah, there's a lot of little changes, and... Some make it easier, obviously the frame loss. Um, and some make it more difficult, the increased... Um, durability of Quick Man and... Uh, Cut Man and a few others in Mega Man 3, which I'll get to. And, uh, pattern changing like this, and like, uh, Air Man no longer being able to stand behind him. God damn it. Ah! Fuck you! Crack! Man! If I had Rush Jet, I'd be on him! And then you shoot upwards at me! Didn't I do that for a video? Oh, I did! I did, for Wily 5 from Mega Man 2. Uh, yeah, because Crash Man is in Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy, and you have Rush Jet. And yeah, I got on <laughs> Rush Jet and flew around. That was fun, I like that. <sighs> You're supposed to jump, faggot. Christ.
Jump into my shots, motherfucker. Christ. Well, at least I... Ow! Fucking thought I... Jesus Christ. Had his pattern down. But apparently not. This just goes to show you that Oyster sucks at Mega Man. Man, this is tedious. But at least he's dying. They show. Yes, Crash Man is dying. So anyway, um, oh boy. Ow, God, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. Concerning like the drama bomb that dropped in my thread, I guess I took it too seriously. Like, I don't really care if you people believe me or not. Um, as Garen said, you know, some people have been in on the live commentary. And, uh, they know how it works. I, I don't know what he was, Jesus, referencing when he said, uh, to cut out the conversation. I mean, we had a really huge conversation. But basically what it comes down to is, you know, if I die doing a condition or something, um, yeah, I tend to not do the condition up to the point where, uh, I had died, because I already proved I could do it, why well, do it again? Besides, um, that really makes for shitty videos. Um, if I were to leave all that in. Uh, however, Guava Moment did prove, make, not really prove, but he did make a good point, and he just said that he wanted to see, um, the full battle when I finally do beat them. And I guess I can show that. Um, I have cut it in the past because, really, um, I run out of funny or death flip outs and a lot of times it's just silent when I beat them um, which is possible to see especially in my Mega Man 2 Flashman video like I really don't say anything until I beat them because uh, <laughs> I had, had uh, used up all my flip out juice because I died a good 70 times for that battle and that was not fun at all oh god damn it But I also left a lot of that battle in. And, um, Schizo Guy, in my Mega Man 1 thread, um, made a good point in saying that back then I was using Death Guessing, whoever guessed however many times I died, um, got to make the next condition. And I would post the number of times I died, and the whoever got the condition. And he said, don't do that, because it leaves him for a surprise, you know? Um, because I, the video in question was Fireman, and, uh, I had died on Fireman, and there's like, you know, if uh, people don't know that, then uh, they'll be in for a treat, you know. Um, and I kind of, I guess, adopted that for uh, the Metal Blade trick doesn't work, obviously. <laughs> um, I kind of adopted that uh, for the bosses as well. So, like, if I cut down and I'm at not very much health, and he's at very mu much health, you guys don't know if that's the real deal or not. Oh my god, I have zero lives. This is going to end badly. Um, yeah. You guys don't know if I win or not. And I, I kind of like that element of surprise. But I understand where Guava Moment is coming from and saying that, hey, he, he wants to see the full battle when I beat them. You know, if I die here, then I die, and it's game over. And I'm going to cut the rest of this part out. Pause the recording. Which I actually don't do, Guava Moment, in case you watch this. I don't pause the recording and say, hey, I'm back. Um, I record everything, and then I cut things afterwards. So if you guys want the unedited versions of the videos, I have them. Anyway, pausing recording now. Okay, back, done, beat them all again. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was... Uh, they removed the ram the flashman into the ceiling thing with metal blade in this one, which kind of sucks, because I like doing that. And now I have full weapons and all that happiness. Also, in the original, um, energy tanks weren't saved. Obviously, I still have some energy tanks, so that was nice of them. Wow, that doesn't work. And I'll go back to metal blade. Um, unfortunately. I die anyway, because I suck at life. Good fucking god. And I had used the atomic fire. Oh well. Oh 
However, since, uh, stupid newbie, I mean the wanderer, no, you're the stupid furry, not the newbie, um, gave me that horrid, 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 horrid condition for this, and I passed it. I think I can do this too. However, I think his balls are bigger or something in this one. Because, Jesus Christ, I am having a much harder time avoiding them. Nice, uh, freezing in the shooting animation there. Will you shut up? You would! Shut up! This is why I don't like recording with the furry around. But he walked in when I was doing this. Yes, you are. Hey, hey, watch watch me die again to Wily without that energy tank. And watch me get another game over! Alright, we're we're going back to pausing this. Good god. Anyway, we're back at this thing. With full atomic fire now, and that will make it go a lot faster. I think. Probably shouldn't be using atomic fire this fight, because good god, now I don't have it anymore, and I'm low on energy already, and I probably am not going to beat him. And I used the energy tanks in the last attempt, even though, hey, it saves energy tanks this time. Yay! Yeah, I'm going to die. Ta da! I died. Fantastic. Fan motherfucking tastic. One more life left, and, uh,. Let's try and not suck this time, shall we? Jesus fuck. It's like Lyric in the Mega Man 2 winner's race. He couldn't beat Wily 5. And here I am having a bunch of trouble with Wily 5. I don't know why Wily 5 is so impossible. It just is. Ta-da! Done. Alright. See if I can get. I wish I had an energy tank to use right now. However, because of the. Maybe it's because of the slowdown, and maybe it's not. Oh, fuck you! The balls are at least easier to avoid. Um, maybe they bounce higher, or they bounce farther. I think that's the case. However, with Metal Blade, stand still anyway. Whatever, time to pause again. Alright, full health this time, full atomic fire. Pretty sure I can do it. If I can't, then I need to stop making Mega Man LPs because, good fucking god, that's pretty pathetic. I think. And there's Form 1 down in two shots. I'm glad they didn't up his resistance like they did Quick Man. Um, where's my blade? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, they definitely move faster horizontally, which makes it easier for them to avoid. However, with the whole Metal Blade standstill when fire still end up FUCKING DYING! Ahem. Anyway. Oh, boy. Maybe, if I don't use Metal Blade, I will do better, because I won't be standing still all the time. Now, Okay, I should've jumped that one. Alright, let's not use Metal Blade this time. Let's use something different. Like, the Pea Shooter. Plasma Buster, whatever it's called. Oh god. And watch me get anally violated by said bouncing balls. Wow, why didn't I do this in the beginning? Why didn't I fucking do this in the beginning? These are so much easier to avoid than the bouncing balls in Mega Man 2. He's dead. Bam. Win. Holy motherfucking shit. That was embarrassing. Why did I keep trying to use Metal Blade? Because that's what you use in the NES version. Because you can't avoid those bouncing balls. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Anyway, anyway, final level. Here we go. Yay, finally. Christ, this is way too long of recording. Obviously, the uh, shaft here is larger than it was previously. However, the run to the right glitch thing that lets you avoid getting hit by all acid still works. So, that's just what we're going to take advantage of. Uh, I'm surprised the furry isn't laughing hysterically at the fact that I said the shaft is larger.
You know, what? whatever you and Jenny figured out can wait until after I'm done recording this, thanks. No, I'm- no, no. Yeah, that, that's already been thought of, dude. I think the general consensus was they want me to stay alive. Wow, let me die to Wily Alien. That, that, that's utterly fantastic. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, cool. New trophy, awesome. Jesus. You got the Paper Mario trophy, good for you. He, he's a little happy that he got a trophy in Melee, even though, you know, if he wouldn't have done it, I would have eventually. Well, after I get the Crazy Hand trophy, which is a little harder to get... Uh, some one thing where you have to, like, walk a bunch. It's an anything. So just beat Classic or Adventure with a bunch of people and walk, don't run, and don't jump. Okay. Time to kill the Wily Alien. Once again, you know, you got the fucking music that's not music. It's stupid boss music, and I hate it. And, wow, he's, like, defibrillating. It's not even a word. I mean, it is a word, but it's for, a word for people with health problems. Heart problems, specifically. But he's going, like, in and out, and they changed the sprite, basically. It's what I'm getting at. They added the animation to a sprite. I don't know why I can't say those simple words. Jesus. Alright. Uh, oh, God, ow. That got shot. Um, no, you can't double tap. Running doesn't count. Hello, frame motherfucking lost. Holy shit. This is why I strongly dislike this port or remake or whatever you feel like calling it. Jesus. The slowdown is near unbearable. Ugh. Anyway, come on. Couple more shots. And you can't target spam him like you can in the NES one. You can't rapid fire the bubble lead and just have him die in a couple of passes. Doesn't quite work that way. Finally! Jesus. Oh. Unplug it, unplug it, and play it back in. And if that doesn't work, reset it. Then reset it. Alright, fine. Then unplug it and keep it out. Hey, look, the little. Will you shut up until I'm done recording? <laughs> God! The, 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 the Twilight thingamabob, whatever he used to use the holographic projector, obviously is different. Style. But then, you know, this entire game is nearly, um, full of graphical changes. Um, one major thing in Mega Man 3, which I'll touch on when I start that, um, wow, there was no lag between switching to the ending. That was very, very immediate. Anyway, one thing I'll touch on um, in the next videos for Wily Wars, anyway, in Mega Man 3 is the fact that they did not resize Proto Man at all. And they resized the rest of Mega Man 3, and the rest of Mega Man 2, and the rest of Mega Man 1. So Proto Man looks really fucking awkward um, all throughout Mega Man 3 because he's a little dinky guy uh, when the rest has been resized. Which is interesting. Anyway, um, obviously here Mega Man's been redrawn, and I kind of like it. Um, besides the fact that he looks deadly serious and, like, wanting to shoot himself, he looks kind of emo. Um, I don't know, it's pretty well drawn. And they really could have used the tilt-up sprite. Come on, Capcom. In the NES one, he's looking up to the right, left. Well, his right, I guess. And in this one, he just looks to the right. He doesn't look up. Also, holy fucking screen flash, didn't they fear that would give people epilepsy seizures? Maybe that's why it was only released in Sega Channel America. Ugh. Um, I don't know why they don't have scrolling stars here. They do in the NES one. It wouldn't be hard to make them scroll, considering this is the boss introduction screen. And they scroll in the boss introduction screen, even for this one. I don't understand that, I guess. Anyway, um, that's Mega Man 2. Uh, I, I most definitely prefer the NES one. This one really sucks with all the slowdown. <coughs> and it's not even really used to your advantage, I guess. <laughs> Wily 2 fight. Um, 
It was definitely a lot easier to take down with the Plasma Buster. <laughs> Which I think is really fucking funny, considering NES one, use Metal Blade or you die. But other than that, you know, uh, NES one definitely is better. Some of the changes they made to make this more difficult to compensate for the making it easier for the frame rate, they really sucked. I don't like this at all. Um, however, I will continue doing this game just to get to Wily Tower because Wily Tower is fucking amazing, and it really sucks that Wily Tower is only in this game, and it still has the epic slowdown that the other games suffer from. Um, and it has my favorite boss fight in all of Mega Man. And I can't wait to fucking show that off. Even though it is six levels in the Wily Tower. And once I do get to Wily Tower, I will be doing it level by level. None of this, uh, two videos for a game thing. Anyway, um, there's Mega Man 2. I'm gonna keep mashing the start button until I can... Come on. Go back to the title screen. There we go. Um, and just because I'm anal, I'm going to demonstrate one last thing before I cut the video. Hey look! Rockman and Rockman 2! This is the problem with the ROMs, they don't save all clear data, so Wily Tower is not accessible. And next up, we will do Rockman 3, and holy shit, Gemini Man looks fucking retarded. Later guys!